Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Planet Zoo, shall we? Alright, well here's our franchise doing beautifully with some new rhinos. And let's just check in on these rhinos. Oh, we finished some research on cockroaches. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Now I'll close this up, and my goodness... How adorable is this? Steel, the male rhino, is playing with this snowman toy. That is tremendous. And Steel is pretty happy. The only concerns are drink cleanliness and um, last meal quality. So that actually means that we have a problem with... Uh, the water not being um, clean and that means I need to build uh, a water treatment facility Ooh, this is about to break maintenance do it now please um, huh every month man okay um, anyway um, I'm going to it is in a work zone right Or maybe it's not its range. Maybe that was just its effective range. Oh, maybe it shrinks because it's not being maintained. Anyway, um, let me build another one. And I could honestly just build it inside my uh, staff area here. And it would reach most of this. But the, the concern would be the negative impact on guests from this. And as long as I keep it... Um, over here, I think we're okay, but let me just check how far does this go. This would get them if I put it right there. So, let me turn off the heat map, and then let me just see if I can uh, rotate this. Yeah, such that it will pick up the path. And there we go. So, then, now this will clean their water. And we just need to go into zoo and into staff and work zones and we're going to affect the consumer prison to include that and we're good to go actually what was this going on with the staff why was this person all tired oh um yeah they're going for a rest so they'll be better eventually now i'm going to select everyone and just make sure that we're training everyone they're also only like staff level one this vet so they're going to get tired quicker than the other vets okay um, let me look at this, and can I change their meal quality? Not yet. Oh, wait, did we just learn some more? Hey, we did. Oh, but only level one. All right, so it's going to take a second for the Rhino Realm to be serving up delicious food. But in the meantime, people are coming around to see this. Some people have umbrellas. Some do not. All right. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be a fun addition if, considering this rain, what if I built a path, okay, that was of our normal path type, uh, which is this, right? And then I'm going to start it in such a place yes like right here okay and then i'm gonna have it go up and then down and then loop around but not connect i don't that isn't what i'm going for what i'm going for is now um maybe it needs to go up a little higher actually okay fine all right now this is what i'm trying to do I'm going to build an observational path around the Rhino Realm up here that also provides some shelter for the guests underneath. So we can um, play, I'm gonna, I have to go around the solar panel, play a little game where 
we are keeping people dry and also allowing them to see the rhinos in a really nice up close and personal fashion and then we'll just casually bring this down somewhere i'm actually not sure how to do that yet i don't know if i have enough space uh let's see if i put it over here can i start to no not yet um let me see no, that isn't. Um, let me delete that. That looks weird. Uh, I'm going to pause it. And we're just going to check the research. And... Hey! Look at that. We maxed out ring-tailed lemurs. And so we can put Manto um, on a more complicated project, I guess. Advanced research there. Is everything... Yeah, we're researching everything we can, so that's good. All right. Now, I'm going to go into paths, and I'm going to delete this path uh, here, and then we're going to continue this path, and I'm going to try from here to bring it down. Nah. No, 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 no. I want to bring this path down. Um, no, 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 okay. Let me make it as short as possible. But I can't bring it down here yet. Um, which is a bummer. What about like partially? Not really. The, the station is in the way. Oh, you know what? I've got a really good idea, actually. Let me delete. Let me go to the path. And let me delete the path. And we can just play a different game. Where what we're going to do is uh, connect it to this raised path platform. All right, so we're going to just kind of take this. And we can keep it the same width. But we're going to swing it so that it eventually will... Yeah, do that. Exactly. Now, this also provides the rhinos with a little bit of shelter. So, it's kind of a, you know, just a win-win for every... Not really, but I'll pretend like it is. And then we're going to tilt this like this. And we're going to push it back. And then we can move this bench uh, along here and this bin here. And then... Holy smokes, we have really, really gone above and beyond and created something magnificent. Let me just put some donation bins uh, around. So if anybody is taking a gander at these rhinos, they can give back. And then we need trash cans all over up here. So let's just pop those in once it becomes night and I remember I'll also build some lighting up here alright fantastic and now Nurse Incompetent was telling me that these picnic benches are too close together and that is the reason that no one will sit at them so I never even thought of that as a possibility, but it makes sense. So let me, like, just take out some of them and see if I just, like, thin the herd a little bit. If this will entice people to have a seat. Maybe. there. Alright, let's see if that does anything. Number one. Well, this one is a little bit silly where it's at. Let me try to put it, like, over here. It's right in the way. There. Okay. That looks good. And let me pull up some benches now. 
plenty of seating opportunities for people hanging out. Tremendous. Let's just give people all the opportunity in the world to rest if they need it. Yeah. And great. Okay. Now I want to see if anybody actually uses this expansion that we've done. Also, I need to make sure that we haven't affected their habitat so that they consider the space to be um, not adequate. Well, cleanliness is actually their only issue right now, which I'm willing to accept. Now look, you see, this entire crowd of people is standing here. They love the view of the rhino. They think this is good. And they're dry underneath our elevated walkway. So that's just a tremendous win for us. Good view. I mean, and look how good these rhinos do look, in fact. This is one of our better habitats that we've built in terms of the look of it. The look of this upper balcony is awesome. The barrier looks great. The distance from the people to the animals is great. Um, okay, so let's continue the education game. Oh, this tigers are about to have offspring. Great. This tiger's like, I'm checking out this present box. This plaid Christmas present needs a little bit of play, and this tiger's having a blast playing with it. And I'm hoping that a baby tiger is going to just materialize in a moment. And it does. Look at that. We've got ourselves a cute baby tiger chilling. Oh, we've got two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we are rolling. People are going to be so thrilled by this. Let me leave the... Uh, this zoo is great. The energy level is down, but people are having a good time. Terrific. Yep. Everything is going well here. Uh, that's great. What did, you, what did we finish? Oh, vet research. We just maxed out dogs. How good is that? Incredible. Let's get some advanced research going. Oh, this is the progress that we had on advanced research, actually. Um, can I take Dylan and then try to finish the advanced research? I don't know what it does, but let's keep that moving. Great. Okay. All right. Um, my next move is going to be... There's the zebra zipper just flying along. To continue the progress that we're making here at our rhinoceros habitat. But I'm going to have to up the education game all the way around for this. Ooh, do I have power over here? Oh, I sure do. Alright, so let's kind of drop these in where we need to. This one I actually want to move a little bit. Yeah. No, that's good. All right. Um, I'm going to duplicate this and bring one over here. Scooch it back. And install another one over here. Curl this over here. And I think we can put one more. Uh, I 
over here. Rotate it. There. That's a, a pretty decent amount of education, actually. Let's just finish the whole deal and very, very thoroughly educate people on what they're seeing. Now, I haven't actually done this in a while, but there's no crossover here at all. So what that means is I can go ahead and build um, some educational speakers and not worry about uh, cross chatter. So we can like make this a little bit louder and then just start building these around. So that wherever people go, they will get information about rhinos. No matter what I have to do, at what point. I think that's fair. All right. I think that's great. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. And now it is time to pull in some more touches of some classic lamp posts in the consumer prison overall so that we can just light this area up. It's a little dark. Let's give it some punch. We really can't afford it if anyone trips and there's some kind of lawsuit. It also looks so good. I mean, it really does. It just looks fantastic. Kind of put these all around. Make sure that people have adequate lighting. Aren't freaked out being way over here. Um, I don't. I don't know how well these do. You know, far away, but. Because of the overhang, there are some places where I can't quite get them as close as I'd like, but it still works. There. And then, what we can do is start putting them up higher. Enticing people with safety and style. Now, most of these lights we're going to put... Um, oh, there's no power there. Yeah, you can see that this section doesn't have power. We'll just throw in a uh, solar panel. Call it a day. We can always stick some vending machines up here too, if it feels necessary. Okay. Oh, is that flying in the air? No, that's great. There. I think that's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. It's lit. It's, uh... A great view of these animals and people are loving it they love the zebra zipper nice weather they don't like it they couldn't get umbrellas that's that's a bummer 
Well, you do the best you can. Maybe another information center? All right, well, I just received this notification of a problem with the elephant habitat, which has been happening, which is that, you know, the cleanliness is just an issue. And um, I guess I'm going to just need more keepers. Um, I mean, if I look at this, the keeper was just there, but there's so much going on here that it takes them perhaps too long. So maybe actually what I want to do is, well, first of all, we got a present. What was this? Um, increase the average exhibit species overall welfare to 86%. Oh, okay. Um, nice. And let's just say hi to everybody. Get some conservation points built up. I think I'm going to build some more keeper huts, or at least one more keeper hut over there for the wild dogs and the elephants. Perhaps create a new work zone, because it's just people are taking too long to go clean these large habitats over here. And if you think about it, I mean, this is where the facilities are, and it is, you know, a bit of a hike, so I get that. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to go to animal trading and my storage and nurse incompetent was making the great point that I need to get a female otter for my otter exhibit and I do want them. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to reset the filter and I'm going to go for um, otter and see if there's a nice female that's available for purchase. Here's one. Adopt. Um, and then what is their uh, Zoopedia entry? How big of a group do they like? Uh, 2 to 15. N uh, let's see. 9 males, 9 females. So we could have more, one more male and one more female even. And it should be okay. So let's look at that then. Uh, Alright, adopt. And then... adopt and now if I go into animal storage I um, well let me unpause it I should get some more in here in a moment providing that those actually I mean I bought them right yep okay great I have all four of the otters so when I'm ready to build my otter exhibit I have them spring books about to have offspring which is not our favorite. The inspector came and gave us all five stars on everything, so that's good news. Alright. I see a couple of things going on over here. In the land of the elephant encampment um, and the doghouse. <laughs> so, I want to build keeper huts. But we need to do that in a way that does not dis disturb the guest uh, and so we have this area over here, right? With some things that are mechanical facilities, right? That we don't care too much about. And maybe we could shift these around to allow for a, a keeper hood. So, like, if I wanted to put this down here, I, I need a space in, in this area, which is totally doable if I more economically split this up, I think. So let me say, like, what if I move this, for example, right? Oh, you know what? You know what the easiest solution is? I'm so silly. The easiest solution uh, is to do this. Is to just say path, staff path, and we're going to make it much narrower. 
and we're going to find a way where we can potentially have uh yeah here we go okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go to path and i'm gonna delete some path action and i'm going to move this um but not editing as a group just let me slide this where i need it maybe hmm Like, that's actually okay, right? And then what I can do is just say path, and we can build a path here that kind of... Um, no. We'll have to slightly move this barrier... Just a bit. Obstructed, huh? No, okay. I haven't, all right, I have an idea. Let's just get rid of all the paths altogether. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a path in to here, and then we're going to just raise this up. Like this. And then from this point, it doesn't matter if it goes over the animal's encampment. Because yeah. Perfect. So now that we have this up here, we can also take a path and um, work on... All right. Exit the group. Hmm. All right. Let me figure out where I can fit my keeper hut. And so we can just build a keeper hut that's like here for now. And we're gonna raise it up and work on trying to connect it to the path. See what that would take. That seemed to do it just like that, okay? So now if, you know, in an imaginary world, I could build this keeper hut like way up here flying in the air and then we could take this move it X uh, we're gonna exit group editing and just raise it up and figure out how to move this in such a fashion that it would grab the path that exists just like this okay and then we can slide it to here. All right, so now this is gonna work. It's going to have power and function. And then I think I can just move this up. And I'm gonna exit the group editing and just drag it up until we get it to attach to the path that it's already doing that and we can get it as close as possible like that bam and then maybe i can move this uh you know just over here for now i wonder why it won't let me I wonder what the uh, the problem is with moving it there. Anyway, my idea is to take a path and bring it here. Uh-huh. And then try to bring it down to connect to that. 
And the reason I want to do that is there might be some more facilities I want to build that connect to this later. To kind of sneak these staff facilities in here. Now, I don't know why it just keeps telling me that the modification failed. I'm not exactly sure what the issue is with this. You know what it was? Is I had flattened terrain on. And it was trying to flatten the terrain. It said it couldn't do that. So somehow turning that off allowed that to be built there. So I'm not pretending to understand, but that's what I did. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able, though, to get this to connect, unfortunately. So what I might need to do is just go path, delete path, get rid of this, and even get rid of this for now. And then add a path that uh, connects like this. No. Uh-huh, but you don't have to be that long. That's better, maybe. And does it allow any opportunity for a path... To connect up here. Not that I can see. Alright. Well. I want it to work. But it's not going to. So we're just going to completely abandon that plan. And just take this and move it up. I mean I could have just done this in the first place. But I was trying to, to use some of this space down here better. But this will just be fine. Now what I want is for it to like grab, but I don't know why it won't grab the path. Is it too high? Oh yeah, it's too high. Pull it down and then rotate it and it should, here it goes, grab the path. And then now we have all these facilities, they're accessible, okay? And we're gonna just go to staff and Hire uh, a new keeper. And then we're going to just go to st zoo, staff, work zones. We're going to um, add a new work zone. And we're going to call this... Um, elephant zone. Like that. And then... The elephant zone can have you and I'll unpause it. And then oh yeah. It doesn't include a habitat. Oh it's about to. Zoo staff work zones elephant zone edit it to include this and this. Perfect. Now, these are overlapping, so it's like more than one person is working this, but hopefully this staff being closer will get to it faster and keep it clean. My goodness, we've got a situation here. Inbreeding. Oh, so these can't... So this is inbreeding at this point, so... They can't breed. I got rid of everything, I think, in this encampment and kept one male and one female, I believe. But it looks like uh, it doesn't work because these are related. Um, 
And that's a shame. I can't ditch any of these babies because they're still juvenile. Um, I need to look at Nurse Incompetent and look at the stud book. Her parents were unknown father and unknown mother. Captive birth. Okay. And then if I look at Jeff Goldblum, the parents were also unknown captive birth. So I don't know why it doesn't know them anymore. Maybe because I released them from the zoo, but that's unfortunate. So what we're going to do is just keep uh, the female and um, release Jeff Goldblum to the wild. And we'll go to animal trading, and we're just going to pick up another Nile monitor. And we'll get ourselves a Another male gif gifar, like Jafar. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see. Do we have anything? Oh, gosh. This one's amazing. Yeah, I get that. Rashad. All right. And then we're going to go into animal trading, animal storage, get me Rashad, and send Rashad to the zoo in here. Okay, perfect. So that'll take care of the inbreeding situation. I can also say hello to all these fantastic people at different points in the zoo and collect conservation points, which I need to keep the dream alive of amazing animals, like elephants, someday. Alright, um, animal has escaped. No, it did not. It's, this is just a bug in the game. They're saying that it has escaped, but it has not. And people might react negatively to it, but it is, in fact, in inside the habitat and not escaped. All right, now they're saying two have escaped. Yeah, and we're just dealing with this weird bug in the game. Everyone's running for their life, but uh, they're saying Beth... Uh, Bestie has escaped, and Bestie is uh, right there. So, right. This is actually, I don't know, I typed this wrong. It's supposed to be Betsy. There we go. Um, okay, so I guess we have to deal with people freaking out for no reason. Now, another thing I want to do is I'm going to unpause it. And we were working on this raised area over here where we built this keeper hut and I do want to just check to see that the cleanliness in this elephant encampment has improved um I don't know where I can s yeah it's 100% so that definitely helped it work which is great okay another project I'm working on at the moment uh, as I, I Eventually, I'm going to build my otter habitat, but I have some serious kind of, like, work to do that I want to catch up on um, regarding lighting. And so, I have, like, I want to make sure that the elephant encampment is not lit very well. So, I want to drop lights in by the dog, the wild dog house, and the elephant encampment so that people can see, you know, as they're doing their thing. Checking this out, potentially. Great. We'll put a light up here for the staff. Keep things smooth for them so they don't tumble down these stairs. How embarrassing and painful would that be? All right. And then now, um, look at all these people getting on the zebra zipper. It's pretty sensational. Let's give them a light. Let's give a light to people coming out of the bathroom on both sides. Let's light up this area over here 
Oh, you know what? I did all this work to build this keeper hut over here, and I forgot that I had a small staff area over here. But, to be honest, it's actually okay. It, it didn't really do anything too different because I had that whole area already devoted to facilities with negative impact. So, it's fine. Um, Alright, what is this? Springbok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Springbok. Alright, we're just killing the research on the orangutans. And that's beautiful. We'll go ahead and close this. And I'm going to keep building uh, lamps. Facility broken down. What is this, a vending machine? Well, it is. Alright, so let's check it. And let's urgently assign the mechanic. Let's increase the frequency to, I guess, every month now. <laughs> And get back to the business of lighting our zoo for nighttime fair. Ooh, the rhinoceros is expecting offspring. Wow, already. Look at that. By the way, this is genius that we have their shelter kind of under the path that walks. So they can sleep under here if they want. And then they can walk around. And people, like, love this. We got a bargain with tickets for the Zebra Zipper. Oh, I don't even think I charge money for the Zebra Zipper. Which may or may not be a mistake. But then again, I have some... Like, I'm making money. I'm not really too worried about it. Alright, let's see. Let's see our baby rhino come in. Wow. God, that... Sunset is unbelievable. Oh, oh. No, no, no. She's expecting, but she's not going to have it right now. She just got pregnant. That's all. Okay. I thought that was a little fast for that to happen. All right. Let me travel then back to this area and continue Project Illumination. It doesn't have as much significance now um, in the daytime, but it's still... An important part of making the experience nice for the guests. Uh, what is this? Alert. Springbok. Willow King about to mate. Research completed. The giant burrowing cockroach. Fantastic. And we will go over here. Now, these lights aren't lit up just because it's daytime. Okay, great. I think that should do enough for uh, people traveling here and looking for illumination. Here's some as well. Okay. Okay. So we've got this place lit. The penguin habitat is crushing it. And I think it's always good to just take a look at the animal welfare and make sure that at least on the macro level, um, everything is green and it appears green. Now, I don't... I can't check the... Uh, I guess I can't check the, the welfare of the exhibits. That would be kind of nice if there was a way to just... Ooh, the penguins, though, actually are not doing great. Why are the penguins unhappy? Social. There's not enough space because there's too many penguins in here. Okay. Yeah, the penguins are breeding crazily, so let's just go ahead and go into animals. And let's just dump a bunch of them. We have a million of them. So let's do that. Let's just take out some from up here. And we can release them to the wild. Do it. And then let's see about doing some more to the wild. Okay. 
And then let's see now if uh, how their situation improves. And now they have plenty of space. Now it's not a problem. We got some research done. The Indian rhinoceros. Can we give you better food, rhinos? Let's just zoom out. Select the rhino realm and check the animals. We can. Boom. Grade 2 food. Yeah, this habitat might be my crown jewel in terms of getting the guests as close to the animals as possible. You can get a good view of the rhinoceros from here. I never want to leave. The toilet is free. Seeing the Indian rhinoceros up close is like having a front row seat to the best show in town. Yeah, by far, like I should take notes on this habitat. It's the right size. People can see things easily. The, um, it's just a terrific success. And look at this rhino in the water. Steel is chilling. Now, last meal quality was not great, but we did just upgrade their, their food situation, so hopefully that will kick in. Uh, we did something here. What was this? Adopt and place two different exhibit species. Yeah, sure, we did that. All right, now, speaking of exhibits, uh, let's go ahead and do a tour of our exhibits. They usually get out of control with breeding. Yeah, it would... Let me see. Um, I wish I could, like, flick between the exhibits that I have. Very simply. Um, so this is the New World Exhibit Small... Right, right, right. I need to see inside. Um, this is the Eastern Brown Snake. And... I wish I could have stayed longer to see the eastern brown snake. Oh, they didn't. They wanted to stay longer. There's only one animal in here. It's. They're perfectly content. So that's really, really working well. Um. Where did I put those cockroaches? I don't even remember. Is this them? Yeah, here we go. Social health. What's the problem? It's too large. Yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and just select the whole thing. And animals. Let's just get some out. Oops. Um, let me kick out uh, one, two, three, four. Like that. And then let's see how the overview is now. They don't like the layout, but I think we can probably change it. Yeah. We can give them all kinds of good stuff as we research. Perfect. Um, now their quality of life is much better. The group size is good. Um, Alright, this is the... The cockroach castle. Boom. I need the toilet. Ooh. No, there's a toilet right there. You're good. So this area is all dead space. It's a consideration for um, a place to potentially put... Some... Otters, maybe, but I'd have to deal with this like we could put the habitat here for the otters and then connect this path to this but this power station which is affecting you know a pretty good amount of area would probably have to get replaced with solar panels and that's fine boom just crushing it good job what's this and it's a stressed out springbok. Okay. So, let me see the, the power map. 
And if I were to look at negative impact, this is the main one. This does impact people negatively, but I think I can just say, like, what if I very quickly, um, if I crushed this, we'd lose power to this. So this is a solar panel, right? That has no negative impact. And so I could put this like, you know, right here, right? And then I could just delete this for the time being. And then I'm gonna go to the power map. And the only thing we really lose power on is this very, very small area inside here, which doesn't actually have, everything is powered, so we don't lose anything. I can move this actually, what I could do is just move this up. And then delete the path. And then just create a path that's a staff path. To get to that. And then let me look at the power situation. It doesn't completely fix it, but it makes it so small that I think we're good. Okay, perfect. Now, we are basically ready to, in this space, I'm going to build the otter habitat. Have it kind of integrate with the zebra zipper. Have it connect this part of the zoo to this part of the zoo. We'll stay away from this. We'll just kind of keep this wall back here probably blank. Maybe this part can be exposed. We'll create an upper pathway. We could even actually have it go over the zebra zipper, um, but that might not work at all. But it's an interesting and fun idea to toss around. We could even connect these someday for no reason. But if we put enough habitats down here, connecting these over top might be smart so that people can see all of the things down below. I don't know. Oh, we got more cockroach research. That is amazing. We'll about to, we can probably maximize their layout soon. All right, fantastic. Let's check in with the dogs. Um, they don't like the view of the African wild dog. God, it's so weird. Like it's the same style, right? Of of habitat. There's dogs all over the place. Look at them eating this carcass. Oh my goodness. Right? There's a million dogs here. And yet, somehow, um, people don't like the view. Wow. Well, you can't please everybody. Maybe it's because they're smaller animals. You have to be closer. I don't know. Anyway, I think the zoo is just shaping up beautifully. We have effectively completely decked out this rhino world. We've taken care of some issues. We have illuminated this portion of the zoo. And we are ready to work right here and put in all the otters that we've purchased. I'm excited about our progress. Look at this. Everything green, everything five stars, almost 600,000. Rolling. Oh, this is broken. Or it's getting broken. Um, let me look at the maintenance on this. What is this? Every month, and it's still smoking. Goodness gracious. Maybe we need to get some more mechanics. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I will check you next time in Let's Play Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. Take care.